Hi, this is Bonnie Parker, head of ARIS at Clayton State University Library. This video is about career resources. I'll show you some resources that we have in the Galileo databases, and then we'll also look at a couple of outside websites. Let's start off by going to clayton.edu slash library, which is our library homepage. And let's choose journals and databases by subject. We can scroll down just a little bit and go under company and industry information and choose industry and trade. This gives us a list of databases which include articles and information about business and management. The first one we want to take a look at is ABI Inform Collection. This is a database that includes articles and journals from 1905 to the present, and it covers topics such as corporate strategies, management techniques, marketing, accounting, advertising, and even case studies. Let's go to Advanced Search and limit it to full text, and let's do a search for a SWOT analysis of Coca-Cola. We can search within the document title and use the word SWOT analysis. And also the name of the company, Coca-Cola. And it gives us these results. This is helpful if there's a particular company that you're interested in and you'd like to see their SWOT analysis and see what their strengths and weaknesses are. Now let's go back to the library page and we'll have a look at another database that's very useful. Let's go back to where we were. We searched in company and industry information. and we went to Industries and Trade. The next one on the list was Business Source Complete. This database has articles and journals from 1941 to the present, and it offers company profiles, industry profiles, country reports, and also SWOT analyses. I'm going to go ahead and limit this to full text. And let's also limit this to title. We'll find these results within the title. And let's say that we're interested in doing some research about Coca-Cola and employment. And we'll search, and here are our results. We're able to read any of these articles by just clicking on the blue link. We can also click anywhere where it has PDF full text or HTML full text. On the left side, we can narrow this down by publication date also, or by scholarly journals. This is another good source of information if you're wanting to know what patterns of employment a particular company has. If we go back to the search box, we can also see that we can search in business source by company information. We can search by company name, we can also limit it by revenue and employee number, U.S. company type, year founded, zip code, country and territory. So we have a lot of different ways that we can narrow this down. I'm going to go ahead and use Coca-Cola again as our example. And this is a listing of different Coca-Cola locations, countries, and revenues. Let's say that we want to look at the one in Atlanta. We can just click on the blue link, and here's the company profile. Not only can you look at information that the library subscribes to with Galileo, but there are some outside databases also and websites that you can look at. ONET Online is a very good choice if you want to do some searching to find out more information about what it would take to go into the career that you're interested in. If we go to onetonline.org, it takes us to this page, and we can scroll down a little bit. 
You can do some searching by browsing groups of similar occupations, and you can do an advanced search. They also have a crosswalk so that you can search. And you can use the main search box at the top here if you just want to go ahead and fill in a particular keyword. Let's browse groups of similar occupations. There are several different ways that you can search on this page. If you're interested in knowing which occupations are going to grow rapidly in the next several years, you could have a look at the Bright Outlook occupations. If you want to know what's going to be affected by the green economy, you could look under green economy sector and then up under there, search for your particular group of occupations that you're interested in. And this will tell you how the green economy is going to cause a change in that particular group of occupations. You can also look under job family or career cluster to get occupations that are in the same field of work. You can also just go ahead and use the main search box with a keyword. Let's have a look at career cluster for just a moment. Let me show you what this looks like. Let's say that we're looking for information about nursing or registered nurses. If we looked under the cluster for health science, we could see not only that occupation, but others that are similar. And this is helpful if you know that you want to go into a particular field but you're not exactly sure which occupation you're interested in. So you could look under this and compare and contrast different particular occupations. Let's go back to the keyword search. And I'll go ahead and search for registered nurse. And we'll just go ahead and click on this link here. Now you'll see that it has a sunshine icon beside it and it also says Bright Outlook. So there are going to be a lot of nursing positions that are going to be open in the next few years. This gives us our summary report whenever we click on the blue link. This report answers questions such as what type of skills and knowledge would be needed for this job? What type of activities and day-to-day -day work is involved in this career? You can also find out what kind of education or degree is required. And of course, one of the biggest questions of all, how much does this job pay? Another good website to look at for occupational information is from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics and it's called the Occupational Outlook Handbook. This is found at bls.gov slash ooh. This website allows you to search by looking at occupation groups on the left side or in the center you can search by pay, entry-level education, type of on-the-job training, number of new jobs, and growth rate. For this example, let's search for healthcare. And you'll see this brings up a table. And this table is very good for comparison and contrast. There's a listing of the occupations, the job summaries, the entry level education required, and the median pay for the job. If you're interested in looking at any of these in detail, just click on the title where the blue link is. Let's click on Registered Nurses. This gives us a summary page. It tells us what the pay is, entry-level education, work experience, on-the-job training, number of jobs, the job's outlook, employment change, and it gives you some information about what a registered nurse would actually do on a day-to-day -day basis, what the work environment is like, how you can become one. It even gives you state and area data. So you're able to look for statistics in Georgia or in your particular area. If we go back to the home page for Occupational Outlook Handbook, we can also just do a search at the top. There's a search box on the top right corner, and we can just do a search for registered nurses.
And once again, it takes us to our summary page. If you need additional help, feel free to contact the library. You can call us at the reference desk, you can chat with us, you can text with us, you can also make an appointment. You can also get more help from Clayton State University's Career Services Center. Just go to clayton.edu slash career for more information.